Okay guys, welcome to your 42nd tutorial in the UDK and in this tutorial what we're going to be doing is kind of preparing our level a little better, getting it ready so we can start working with Kismet. So the very first thing that we need to do is we need to add something called a trigger to our level. So in order to do that, go ahead where the light meets the dark on your level, go ahead and right click somewhere in there and we want to add an actor and the actor that we want to add is a trigger now what a trigger is in the UDK it's basically like a switch in real life it's something that your user can interact with to turn something on and off look at it it even looks like a switch that's probably why they named it trigger so now that we have that trigger it doesn't have any functionality yet it's just basically sitting there on the screen so you can tell already that this is a game element and whenever we right click and hit play from here then it's not going to be visible so what we want to do is just for testing purposes we want that to be visible whenever we play our level so go ahead and double click it and we're going to change a setting in here to make sure that it's visible and that is if you go under display you can see by default it's hidden and the checkbox means that it is indeed hidden whenever we play our level if you go ahead and deselect that then our trigger is no longer hidden so let me go ahead and demonstrate this if we go ahead and right click and hit play from here we can now see our trigger whenever we're playing our game right there so another thing that I forgot to do is actually rebuild my lighting so I'm gonna go ahead and build that and while I'm doing that I guess I'll talk about this what we're gonna be adding is right where the static mesh is I'm gonna be adding a toggle light so right now we just added a regular point light and that point light is going to stay on all the time but this trigger right here is going to control this light and this light is going to have the functionality to turn on and off so we don't want to add a regular point light because point lights just stay on all the time so what we need to do is we need to add a toggable point light and in order to do that here's what we do go up to where is it view browser windows actor classes and expand lights and under point lights look for point light toggle now just go ahead and select that and now that you have that selected you can just X out of here and now what you need to do is over by your static mesh actually I'm just gonna click anywhere and I can I can move it around later go ahead and right click and press add point light toggle here and whenever you add that you get your point light toggle and again like I said I'm just gonna adjust it right now I mean my top view is the easiest just slide that over right there again you don't want it to sit right inside your static mesh or else you're gonna get some weird weird shadows so just make sure it's sitting right outside your static mesh right there so that looks pretty good so now here's our lighting system with our regular light right here and if we go scroll up here we can see that the toggle light is right by the static mesh so this is the light that we're going to be controlling with this light switch or trigger right here so using this trigger we're going to be turning this light on and off however here's what I want to do by default as soon as we start our level well it's not going to work because I didn't build my lighting but as soon as we start our level this light is going to be on by default and I actually want to turn this light off by default so as soon as we start our level we need to turn it on so in order to do that you can either uh, double click your light or if you select it and hit F4 it's gonna bring up the properties window and now when you're looking at the light properties go down to light light component light component and enabled right here you can see if you hover over it says is the light enabled this pretty much means is the light on or off by default now by default whenever you add a toggle light it's on but we want to add that off by default and as you can see in my level the light shuts off so now we have everything we have to set up for this level we have a regular this is basically just a working light so when we first start a level we're not lost in the dark this doesn't really have any functionality that we're going to be messing with we added our trigger that our user can run into to turn the light on and off we have our static mesh of the light and we have our toggle light that's going to be flickering on and off whenever we hit that trigger so now what we need to do is hop into Kismet and actually piece everything together so what I'm gonna be doing is 
whenever I'm, I stop this tutorial, I'm going to rebuild my light. So make sure between this tutorial and the next tutorial that you rebuild your light too so you can follow along with me. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And in the next tutorial, we're going to be hopping into Kismet and piecing all these pieces together. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.